Welcome back to part two of my Hollywood Marvel epoxy finish on this thrifted Lazy Susan. I'm trying to just show every aspect of how this finish is done and this is going to be just the flood coat and final um, piece and how it ended up turning out. So very simple for flood coats really. Uh, number one, sand your piece. I use orbital sander most of the time. If I use pigments that are floating at all or chunkier glitters, then I use a sanding block just so I don't mess up that finish. Now, big pro tip when you're doing flood coat, take a misting bottle, water bottle, and spray the air. Make sure all your vents are off, windows are closed, things like that. And the water basically pulls down any particulates that are floating in the air. Then you clean off all that sand and anything, dust with 91% rubbing alcohol. Mix up your epoxy. Take your time when mixing your epoxy. Scrape those sides. You do not want to do the whole flood coat and come back the next day and find out there's one little part that didn't cure because it wasn't mixed properly. So just take your time. I use my hands. There are millions of ways you can do it. Do whatever works for you. I've been using epoxy so long, hands just work the best for me. If you're newer, use a square 1-8 uh, inch trowel, chopping brushes. Uh, there's people out there who use rollers and squeegees. There's all sorts of different ways. I just personally love to use my hands. I get the epoxy on the top, go over the sides, make sure it goes under the lip and really kind of flows under the, like, Lazy Susan in this case. And that way I didn't have any drips or anything to deal with because it just flowed all the way under the edge. Now, I did mix up a teeny itty bitty cup of glitter and I added a couple of extra lines. One, I love bling. This is a personal and it's a display piece. So I just needed a couple extra little lines of glitter in there. And I put glitter all on the edges of the Lazy Susan, which you'll see coming up. I always use a torch. I find that it takes the bubbles out the best. I don't know the reason. There's science out there of why torches work the best. Uh, that's what I use. And look at how flat that laid. Oh, perfect. So then once I let that dry 24 hours, this is what I came up with. Laid out perfectly. I did go back in, I will say, two hours later and pulled out a couple teeny little pieces of dust. But that was it. And there was no marks left. You can see the depth right here in the black and just how great this turned out. It's a very large uh, Lazy Susan. I think it's a 24 inch. And this is the finished piece. So I hope that these two videos really helped explain this finish more than the other ones that are out there. I love seeing uh, your comments and the appreciation for this finish. I love seeing people trying this finish. Uh, I hope that these did answer the questions. I have no problem answering questions, though. Please email me, comment, uh, send me messages on any of social media. I'm on everything. And if you enjoy these videos, you also enjoy DIY and home projects. That's mainly where this channel is going. Please subscribe. Uh, I am trying to get to that thousand this year. It's just one little goal I have this year for myself. And other than that, I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.